five strategies to decrease the abandonment rate of your shopping carts. And, you know, uh, I often uh, check out user experience uh, from my clients. Uh, I provide like 30 uh, pages uh, of analysis for uh, any pages. And um, I pay uh, a lot of attention with uh, uh, shopping carts because uh, 70% of customers a bond and don't buy products uh, yeah they have some reasons and uh, watch this video until the end and we will share five uh, things what you can do to uh, get them back or to sell uh, now when they submitted items the first thing what you can do uh, is to uh, take away uh, fewer uh, to provide fewer fields because you know for example uh, from one of my clients uh, i found that he uses 20 fields just imagine that your customer uh, needs to submit all this information and you know people are lazy you know i'm lazy all humans are lazy you know it's our nature nothing is wrong with that but uh, when you uh, take away unnecessary fields you can sell more uh, for example why people like amazon because uh, they can click uh, one time and to sell yeah they uh, submitted all this information before uh, but uh, if you have uh, new customers uh, you need to provide fewer fields and uh, you can ask additional information after registration after buying on email by phone if you feel that you need them what do you think about this Paul? Oh yeah, I mean, with Amazon and eBay, both of those sites I use quite often. And one feature I always use is the wish list. The wish list actually lets you put things away to like almost like a layaway type of feature when you do here like in, in, in brick and mortar stores. But wish lists will remind you that you have it there. It's something where you can go back to, maybe you don't have the money to get it, but wish lists are great, I think so. What are some other things, Anatoly? Um, yeah, wishlists um, are very great, and I found that uh, famous brands use uh, the her symbol, you know, uh, to uh, add items uh, to wishlists. Uh, and yeah, it's very simple uh, to use uh, and understandable for users uh, uh, because most users have no time right now. They are not ready to buy uh, and uh, when they put uh, all items to the wish list they can save all of them and when they get back uh, to buy these items that's okay perfectly fine nothing is wrong with that to uh, provide wish list and uh, my uh, tip number three uh, recommend accessories you know uh, i think that uh, you can find them uh, on amazon when you buy something uh, after buying you can uh, check out other items that can uh, uh, provide additional value to your product uh, for example when you buy smartphones probably you need to have uh, a case or uh, uh, additional applications you know something like this what do you think about this Oh yeah, I mean, having recommendations, related products, what people also bought is something that I feel that can also help decrease abandonment rate and possibly increase sales. I mean, another thing that I feel people are doing is actually ask, providing more payment opportunities opportunities, whether it's like Bitcoin, a credit card, or just PayPal, or Venmo, whatever a payment method is available, make it available for your customers and they will find a way to purchase your products. Some other tips? Mm -hmm. Yep, and uh, the final tip we have uh, to use orange button. You know, uh, when you have your website, you have probably uh, some style uh, colors, and uh, using uh, orange or red buttons, you can increase uh, conversion uh, rates uh, by thirty percent according to a few studies. Uh, HubSpot shares the study, uh, and um, if you check out Amazon, even Google, you know, you can find that there buttons uh, that um, uh, provide some uh, reason to click you know and it's different from the whole website you can use these buttons by the way uh, in many studies i found that uh, uh, you need to use orange or red but you know i never thought uh, i never uh, never seen uh, red button have you seen that no, I actually have not seen red buttons, but what I have seen differently that has worked is actually having, having different call to actions on the button. Instead of buy now, maybe it's either 
I love this, put it into my cart, just different types of call to actions on the button itself will increase some CTR. Yeah, free trial, you know, uh, or uh, something similar, just analyze your competitors and uh, stand out from the rest. Um, try to simplify everything uh, that you have on your website, even uh, in shopping cart, uh, because uh, customers have no time to figure out <laughs> how they need to buy your products. Uh, take away some unnecessary elements. Uh, for example, if you open Amazon, you can see that uh, when they provide um, uh, some uh, information about the product, you can see uh, the menu or uh, any other options you can see only about this item. Uh, but uh, Amazon is uh, a little bit harder to understand, but when you sell a billion products, yep, you need to uh, provide uh, as maximum as possible, even uh, reviews or something similar. Uh, just analyze your competitors, think how you can uh, uh, provide something better than your competitors, uh, simplify their lives. And um, if you can uh, provide Bitcoin, I mean, like to take payments with Bitcoin, Bitcoin, yep, just do it. For example, I, I found that uh, a few antiviruses sell uh, their services uh, with Bitcoin. Uh, and it's interesting um, that uh, this uh, software analyzes how only 18% of users can buy uh, their software with Bitcoin. Yeah, why not if you can play this game, uh, this lottery? Uh, Paul, do, do you believe to Bitcoin or not? Oh, I love crypto. Crypto is something that I invest in. I have so many different wallets and apps on my phone. I feel it's the payments of the future. So I believe crypto heavily. Oh, you know, it's interesting that my brother told me, no way, Bitcoin uh, <laughs> will fail. Others can tell, uh, for example, Gary Vee, oh, it's a future. Warren Buffett uh, shares, no way, Bitcoin will fail. We have uh, many different opinions. Uh, hope you can win in this lottery. It depends. Nobody can predict the future. And uh, I just uh, wish luck <laughs> with playing these games. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, comment below, ask uh, any questions uh, or listen to audio podcast, subscribe to uh, our audio podcast and see you next time. Cheers.